again. I refuse the dead with souls. Come closer. The support who was forgotten for a very long time is now probably one of the most broken heroes in the game. As you saw from the intro, it's extremely easy to win a big team fight when everyone is bunched together. All it takes is one old and the fight's over before even began. Even though he get banned almost 80% of the time, there are 20% chances that he's not, especially in solo queue. So when that happens, you already know what to do. I personally don't like abusing OP heroes, so sometimes I'm not familiar with all the adjustments certain heroes have received. XT. It seems that our S4 is a fanny main. Perhaps he's going to show me some godly stuff. But we didn't notice that they have actually been fanny. Where the light shines. Now we are stuck with a little weird composition. But fear not, we have a Layla, one of the most reliable heroes in the game. Welcome to Mobile Legends! Five seconds till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them! Lancelot and Layla in gold lane, while our tank is going to the XP lane. I couldn't have asked for a much better start. This is promising. I'm paying to let my tank know that we need a little bit of assistance. A lot of fighting, but no kills. It's a most noble part. By the way, thanks to the comments from my previous video, I have learned that the thing circling Nana means that she has her passive. You see, I actually read your comments, so don't be shy and comment away. Smiley face. You can either play Faramis as a support or mage, but I prefer the latter. I think it maximizes his potential and is more deadly, especially in solo queue. Oh shoot, four of the enemies are here. Oh, I tried. Anyway, let's clean this up. They should have different stats about last hitting with flame shot. Enemy 
When a Layla compliments you, that's the ultimate sign of respect. I'm gonna steal this one as well, just gotta be patient, because remember, timing beats speed. Yup. What is so annoying about Faramis is that despite on building him full damage, He's still not that easy to kill, unlike many mages. Flameshot is officially the best spell in the game. Change my mind. That was totally worth it for us, especially considering I'm back already. I'm gonna hold my ult until I see he's a little bit lower. This way, we have a higher chance of baiting them. Nana doesn't have the circle, that means no passive. For Karina, I probably should have helped her secure the turtle instead. Farami's ult is so OP that even Layla won't be that much of an easy prey during the team fight. I think I just got baited. But it's okay, because I'm back already. Man, this thing is literally broken. I wanted to flame shot Nana, but I was a bit worried that me and my show behind me. Living is worth more than killing. I have life and death my command. Our Karina has absolutely no fear of Franco's old. Lancelot is split pushing, 
So we gotta do this in a 3v5 fashion. They might have gotten the Lord, but we managed to kill many of them. They won't be able to push at all, and perhaps we can get some of their inhibitors as well. This hero can turn the tide of battle with just one button. Alright, let's just take the Lord and be done with this. Come here, Lancelot and Layla. Okay. Now that we are all together, all we need is to go all in when I ult. This hero is so broken that he leaves a sour taste when I suggest players to use him when he's not banned. But if you just care about winning, then this is it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.